Hi friend, welcome to Zero Entire. That is all about the Earth. Today I am going to discuss one more important topic in mineralogy, that are the chemical properties of the minerals. And we know that each mineral has a definite structure and chemical composition. When we take any mineral from any country, the structure is same, but chemical composition sometimes different because of some impurities as we know that and rocks are the aggregation of minerals so when we talk about this uh, chemical properties the properties which are related to the chemical composition of the mineral and those chemical properties are isomorphism polymorphism and pseudomorphism so in this lesson we are going to discuss in more detail, these three properties, what is isomorphism, what are the polymorphism and what are the pseudomorphism. First, we will see what is isomorphism. Isomorphism, iso means same, morphism means structure. When two or more minerals having same structure but different chemical composition, such phenomenon is called as isomorphism. There is a group of minerals having same structure but different chemical composition that is called a isomorphous series when we take this uh, isomorphous series there is a continuous variation from one mineral to the another mineral to the end members so that variation in their chemical composition but their crystal structure remains same that is nothing but the isomorphism we will take one example albite and anorthoid series these are the two end members when we see the composition of these two minerals one is the ca rich and other one is the na rich na to ca the chemical composition is changes but their structure remains same that is nothing but the isomorphism we will take one more example which is related to this uh, particularly isomorphous series that is the carbonate series when we see the magnesite siderite smithsonite calcite rhodochrosite so these are the minerals which are belongs to the carbonate group and these minerals having different chemical composition but their structure is constant so this is the second example of this isomorphous series then third example we will see olivine we know that Olivine is a very very important rock forming mineral group and in olivine there is orthorhombic crystal system is there. In orthorhombic crystal system we know that there are three unequal length axis and their angle is 90 degree. Such crystal system is called as orthorhombic crystal system and olivine consists of two end members. One is the forsterite and second one is the phyolite. Forsterite is Mg rich whereas phyolite is Fe rich. These are the two end members which are belongs to this olivine rock forming mineral group. But when we go from forsterite to phyolite, Mg to Fe, the change in the variation in their composition, but their structure is almost remains same. So this is the third example. But particularly this olivine consists of solid solution series. What is that solid solution series? In solid solution series, what happens? Whatever the cations which are present in the particular mineral, they are replaced one another in arbitrary amount. Arbitrary amount means suppose uh, Mg is 100%, then Fe is 0. Mg is 90%, then Fe is 10%. When the composition is changes, the different mineral is there. And that is nothing but the solid solution series. So this is nothing but the isomorphism. Then second chemical property that is the polymorphism. Poly means different, morphism means structure. Some mineral or chemical compounds shows same chemical composition but different structure. This phenomenon is called as polymorphism. In this case, each crystal form gives rise to a separate mineral species. When crystal is subjected to more pressure and temperature, so the size changes as the temperature and pressure is increases. 
so that is nothing but the polymorphism whatever change that is taken place between crystal structure of the same chemical compound are called as polymorphic transformations the stability of the crystal is depend on the energy of the particular crystal structure so this can be thought on the basis of bond strength that is very very important and bond strength is depend on the enthalpy and degree of order or randomness called as entropy that is depend on the entropy in general we can say that the structure of lowest energy is the most stable at any given temperature and pressure so this is nothing but the polymorphic transformation so there are three types of polymorphic transformation one is the reconstructive transformation then second one is the order disorder transformation and third one is the displacive transformation now we will see one by one what is the reconstructive transformation in reconstructive transformation what happens the extensive rearrangement of crystal structure is happening and such type of transformation requires breaking of chemical bonds and reassembling of atoms into different structure therefore it involves a large change in the energy of the structure which must occur at the transformation temperature or pressure because of the extensive rearrangement involved the rate at which this transformation occurs may be very slow if the rate of transformation is very slow then there is exist of unstable polymorphs it is called as metastable for a longer period of time and best example is the diamond diamond is the metastable of polymorph of carbon so diamond having chemical composition that is the carbon displacive transformation that is the second polymorphic transformation that is called as the displacive transformation this type of transformation involves only small type of adjustment to the crystal structure in this case bonds are not broken but the angles of the atoms may be slightly changes because there is a little arrangement displacive transformation involves no change in energy at the transformation temperature pressure this type of transformation is instantaneous and reversible so therefore there is no formation of unstable polymers that is beta stable so for example when we see the quartz and quartz having chemical composition that is the si02 at one atmospheric temp pressure high quartz called as beta quartz is formed and it is the stable form of quartz because it having temperature that is greater than 580 degree so when this high quartz brought to temperature below 580 degree so it immediately transform into the low quartz called as alpha quartz so therefore this high quartz never seen on the rocks which are present on their surface that is the main reason behind this uh, high quartz called as beta quartz the third type of transformation that is order disorder transformation in order disorder transformation what happens it involves the state of order of disorder in a crystal structure and perfect order occur at absolute zero temperature that is nothing but the minus 273 degree celsius as the temperature increases the more disordered mineral forms because the state of order disorder changes gradually with increasing temperature and one more thing is that there is no any definite temperature at which transformation occurs so when we see the example that is the klsi3 o8 combustion mineral generally they are high temperature stable form that is sanidine sanidine having monoclinic crystal system when the temperature is decreases this sanidine sanidine is converted into the microclin and microclin having triclinic system so this is the best example of this polymorphic series there is no any specific temperature at which sanidine is changes into the orthoclades or orthoclade changes to the microclin since the structure changes gradually at temperature decreases if the temperature changes rapidly then unstable polymorphs can continue to exist a low temperature best example of this polymorphic series that is the carbon carbon 
you we know that we are very familiar with uh, diamond and graphite in my hand the mineral is called as graphite which is present in the pencil but in our laboratory there is no uh, any diamond is there because diamond having more cost so therefore that is not uh, in our budget so i will show you this graphite and graphite having very low hardness when we see the diamond diamond is the hardest mineral when we see the mohs hardness scale in on the mohs hardness scale diamond having highest hardness that is the tin and we know that diamond and graphite having same chemical composition but their price is different because it is one of the example of polymers when we see the graphite graphite having hexagonal crystal system whereas in diamond there is a cubic crystal system or it is also called as isometric crystal system then we will see the second example that is the al2sio5 this is the kyanite we know that kyanite sillimanite and andalusite these are the three minerals having chemical composition that is the al2sio5 we know that kyanite having triclinic crystal system the kyanite is formed at high pressure when kyanite is converted into the sillimanite it requires high temperature but sillimanite having crystal system that is the orthorhombic crystal system in which three axis are unequal length and angle is 90 degree kyanite is converted into the sillimanite kyanite requires high pressure but sillimanite requires high temperature when this sillimanite is converted into the andalusite andalusite is formed at low pressure and low temperature it having also orthorhombic crystal system this is the second example of this polymorphic series then i will show you next example those product or those mineral having calcium carbonate chemical composition so there are two polymers particularly one is the high pressure form is called as aragonite you see in my hand this is aragonite mineral and this mineral having chemical composition ca co3 that is calcium carbonate you see this one and this calcite having chemical composition that is the caco3 he this having same chemical composition but their structure is different when we see the aragonite aragonite having orthorhombic crystal system whereas calcite having hexagonal crystal system and these are the two polymers high pressure uh, form is the aragonite and low pressure form is the calcite then we will see the next example that is a sio2 that is a quartz when we see this sio2 it has six polymers one is the cristobalite when we look at my side diagram cristobalite having isometric that is a cubic crystal system it is a low pressure and low temperature product when the reconstructive transformation of cristobalite taken place it is converted into the tridimite and tridimite having hexagonal crystal system we know that in hexagonal crystal system there are four axis there are three axis which are what we can say that they are horizontal and one axis is vertical so this is the tridimite when tridimite is again reconstructive transformation taken place and it is converted into the high quartz increase in pressure the low quartz undergoes a displacive displaced transformation or displacive transformation to coesite system coesite having monoclinic crystal system and coesite undergoes a reconstructive transformation and it is converted into the stishovite and stishovite having tetragonal crystal system so this is regarding the these are the example of this polymorphic uh, transformation then next we will see that is the pseudomorphism pseudo means false morphism structure the existing mineral have outward form of another mineral this phenomenon is called as pseudomorphism so pseudomorphism occurs when mineral altered in such a way that its internal structure and chemical composition is changed but external form is preserved so that is nothing but the pseudomorphism so there are three mechanisms which are responsible for the pseudomorphism one is the substitution second one is the incrustation and third one the alteration we will see one by one in substitution what happens in this mechanism the chemical constituents is replaced by another mineral so best example when we see the fossil wood it is also called as petrified wood 
In earlier time, this fossil wood is composed of cellulose, but later on, when it contact with silica or quartz, so this cellulose is replaced by silica, and there is a formation of this is the petrified wood. This is the wood, and wood is converted into the rock because of the one phenomenon that is called as substitution. Then second example, when we see fluorite, fluorite, this is again one example. When fluorite is in contact with quartz, both having isometric, that is the cubic crystal system, because quartz having cubic crystal system and fluorite having cubic crystal system. But later on, sometimes this fluorite is converted into the quartz because of the substitution and their structure remains same. So, as a fluoride structure is remains same in particular quartz, the resulting quartz is look like a isometric and the, it's said to be pseudomorph of the fluoride. Then second that is the incrustation. In this mechanism what happens? The pre-existing mineral altered by new mineral form. Only thin crust such type of pseudomorphs called as the incrustation. Then third type of mechanism of the pseudomorphs that is the alteration. In this mechanism partial removal of original mineral and only partial replacement by the new mineral has taken place. So best example when olivine is uh, altered into the converted into the serpentine and it is completely altered or partially altered by the other mineral that is serpentine. Uh, gypsum is converted into anhydrite then that it shows a pseudomorphs. Then pyrite is converted into the limonite and this is again one of the example of this uh, pseudomorphs. So in this lesson we have discussed what are the chemical properties that is the polymorphism, pseudomorphism, isomorphism and what are the mechanisms and what are the different examples which shows such type of chemical properties. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you like my video, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Joe Entire All About There. Thank you.